So today I'm going to be showing you guys the best all-around bait casting combo. Now it's made up of a Mojo Bass Rod by St. Croix. This is a, uh, I believe it's about a 7 foot 3 medium heavy action. Perfect for all kinds of stuff. It's got a nice soft tip if you want to do finesse style fishing. Uh, even heavy enough to throw a frog. However, I would not recommend using it for like crank baits or spinner baits or something really heavy like that. But otherwise, it's a really great rod. It's got a lot of power to it. And I mean, when paired with a good reel and a good line, it can really, really zing out some amazing casts. I have caught quite a few fish on this so far. I mean, I've only had this for about two months now. And it has really done me good. It plays fish like a dream. And I really recommend it. It comes in at 125 bucks, so it's not going to break the bank. It's just a really great all-around rod. Now for the reel. This reel is the Shimano Sitica in the 6 3 to 1 gear ratio. And I have a left hand because I like to cast on the right and reel on the left. I never was fond of switching over. But this reel is awesome. This is the smoothest casting reel I've ever owned. It comes in at $150, so Shimano is a high-end brand. But this is like one of their cheaper models. I think the only one cheaper than this is... Uh, it's not the Corrado, I forgot, uh, Casitas. Now the Casitas is pretty good, I have used those before, but I wanted to just try something a little bit, uh, a little bit better than that, and I can tell you that this is the, probably the best rod, uh, best reel, sorry, for the money in the Shimano lineup. Casts like a dream, plays fish really well, it's got a great drag system. Uh, this breaking, the brake plate right here, it comes off, but it doesn't come off easily. Like, I've heard a lot about lose and all that kind of stuff with the side plates is flying off on a cast because you don't have it tightened up real well and uh, I just didn't really want to deal with any of that I had done a lot of research looked at a lot of reviews on different reels checked out Luz, Daiwa, Abu Garcia but none really compared to Shimano so I'm really proud about this reel it's an awesome reel so 130 no $150 for the reel 130 for the rod um, that does put you around 280 bucks which I know there's a lot of people doing videos about like a hundred dollar rod combo and I mean that's great if you're like just getting into it but if you're a bass angler and you really want to be out there and you really want to be doing well I definitely recommend you know putting down some extra cash to get a good rod and reel set now this is not a expensive rod and reel set 280 bucks might sound a lot for like an up-and-coming angler, but once you get really into it, there's guys throwing, you know, a $400 uh, metanium reel. Now, I'm not, I'm never going to spend that much money on a reel, but that just shows that this is cheap, but it's really good. So I'd definitely, definitely go with the Shimano Sitka and the Mojo Bass Rod by St. Croix. Awesome all-around setup. I'll include some close-ups here of the reel and the rod. It's just a really great all-around setup. Pick it up at Bass Pro or Tackle Warehouse. Cabela's might even have it. So, hopefully in the next coming videos, I'll be doing some bass fishing with this and see how it does out in the field. So thanks for watching, and I hope you pick up the Shimano Sitica and the Mojo Bass by St. Croix.